Hi folks, welcome back to Ape Out, a uh, roguelite monkey game monkey, where you kill people, you kill... and it's real cool. There you go. Okay, so those are proximity alarms, Interesting. it looks Did like. shoot me? Damn. Yeah. Oof. Damn it. Also, it seems like the alarm is just permanently triggered Which now. Which is super upsetting. Yeah. Because we are here on side B and things have not changed. I really They've thought... only gotten tenser yeah. and scarier. Ooh, break it. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, wait, now it's dark. Ooh, and this spooky. Is... You killed God! the power. The aesthetics of this game are so cool. This is extremely neat. Ooh, they have they have lights. That means gotta... They can only see Ooh, <gasps> fuck. Damn it. Yeah, Ooh. but I now I bet they quick shoot now. Yeah, so if you're in the light, you're in the light. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. God, God the scratchy are... film it's look really is very, neat. very cool. Oh, what? He, they have to hit something. Damn it. Damn it. Damn. Oh, I was right at the end, too! Mm-hmm. Garbo. Garbo. Uh, do you want to play yeah, sure. or do you want to... Okay. I'll give it a shot. Dead. I want to know more about this guy. So this is this guy's second game, but he's young, clearly. Yeah, I mean, if it's a student film, then it, it must have been. I mean, if it's a student film. Sorry, a student video game. I mean, same sort of idea. Yeah. Um. It's a, it's a super interesting... Kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. still sort of curious about the idea of it being an ape in the first place, like how this specific idea came to be. Yeah. I, um, you dealt with a lot more of those people. I, I don't know. I, I figured you were supposed to just run past them. I but sort of like, go balls to the wall and just kill. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's my whole strategy. <laughs> well, you blew up, Gina. <laughs> you fucking blew up. <laughs> I did. I keep chasing the the these guys down. I almost did it again right there. There um, we go. Yeah, it's very similar to Hotline Miami, which I find cool. Yeah, but it's like I don't know. I, I find it more endearing because it's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a monkey, it's like look at the cute little monkey. Yeah, I mean, as it's tearing people's exactly. heads off and. Uh, this is the catharsis that I've been needing after this week. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's been really nice having you in town for a little bit. Because um, we've both been having some crazy weeks. We have. They've they've been eventful. They've been a lot. <laughs> Gina just with a bunch of work in general. Yeah, um, there well, we go. Both of us were work-related. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I don't I don't fully understand your things, but I've been finishing up uh, transcriptions for... for piano vocal scores of a show that I've been writing that I was commissioned to do, which I said I was gonna finish in January and I'm not dating the episode, but no matter when this comes out, it's embarrassing. Delightfully, <laughs> it, it actually gets more embarrassing the longer, the longer this The way it gets. So you'll never know when I finished it, but the answer is too late. Yep, that uh, is accurate. But, but also you were incredibly, like, it, it was incredibly impressive how much work you've accomplished. Well, that was and, the like, issue being commissioned. Oh, Gina. There we go. Nice. Being commissioned to do something like this while being a full-time student and especially in a program like mine, like mine, why did I say that's so weird? Um, it's just really hard to find time. Oh, do the lights light up based on my proximity? I guess. Oh, God. I don't fully understand all the rules yet. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. that oh, I don't like any of that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this week was perfect because I, would, I was here... Um, visiting and Gina would go to work during the day and so I would go to the gym in the morning and just camp out in her back room and just transcribe away. Um, but it's done, which is cool. And then it's going to be orchestrated and the album will be out soon. I'll do like an official announcement on the channel at some point about this project um, because by the time it's actually being released, I can like kind of advertise it. Which no, be absolutely. Cool. I think I think it'll be really, really exciting. Um, and I mean, it already is pretty exciting. Oh, God. Oh god, it's... the music! What's going on? Oh, oh, it just got quiet. That's almost upsetting. That was weird. I want the music to stay. Oop. Shut Oop. Fuck you. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Murder brings the music yeah. back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is like my first like super professional writing gig, which is very neat. So I'm excited to share that with you all. But it's done. So <laughs> huzzah! It gets orchestrated next. Um, so this is a catharsis we both have heavily been needing, and. Tonight, we're doing Speakeasy. We are doing Speakeasy, which will be really, really Can fun. Can you tell them a bit about it? I oh, don't God. Know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the lights are back. Oh, it's back. They figured it out. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's so many people. There's so many people. Oh, God. Just keep running. 
Just keep going. Just Here keep going. Here we go. Just Here we keep go. Going. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, 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 shit. oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh there. shit. Kill that guy. Yes. Yeah. No, don't even don't don't waste your time. Fine. Get out. Yeah. You're right. You were right. Yeah. I was wrong. You were right. Wow, my Gina. impulse was bad. That was really well done. Okay. That's Blown three. Out. That's three. Um. So so while Gina's playing, just because it's hard to talk while focusing on this yes. insanity. Yes. So um, I, I'll try to talk about it. Yeah, um, go for it. So Speakeasy is a um uh, interactive uh theater piece. That takes place in San Francisco. The most popular one of this kind of genre is Sleep No More in New York. I did which... it again. I made three in a row, though. You so, did, Gina. Yeah. You did great. Ooh. You did awesome. Woof. I'm proud of you. All right. Well, thank you. I've I never been it. this proud of you. I never will be this proud of you ever again. It's unfortunate. Nothing you accomplished <laughs> it's will... Incredibly <laughs> unfortunate. I, I wish I hadn't peaked on Ape Escape. Um, but it's I guess not you're... called Ape Escape. Ape Out. Ape Out. I wish I hadn't peaked on Ape Out. Damn it, damn it. Um, oh, no! Oh, no! Um, okay, yeah, but, uh, yeah, the most popular of this sort of genre is Sleep No More. It's in New York, which is a Macbeth-like dance piece, so there's no dialogue in Sleep No More, but there is in Speakeasy, right? Yeah, so the concept is it's, uh, it's live theater, but the, um, attendees are, it, like, it's not happening on a stage, it's happening right in front of everybody, um, like, at a bar, um, and so... You um, sort of go to the bar, you order drinks, you play, like, you know, cards at a casino, you attend a cabaret, but a lot of the people there are not actually attendees, they're also, they're actors. Which is so fucking cool! Which is cool. really cool. And um, it's beautiful, it's like, I, I, I've been to it once before, and it was funny, and, like, it's also a musical sometimes, and it's just really, really enjoyable. I didn't really know that, enjoyable. Gina. You mean I get to celebrate musical theater? You do. I wouldn't call it a musical, but it is definitely a musical sometimes, hey. is the way that I put it. And, um, they, they revamped their, um, their narratives, and I'm excited oh, about How their new I narratives. with that? I don't know. That's hard. Yeah. Let me try again. Um, yeah, so you actually don't really know what you're going to see tonight. You know the general aesthetic, but, like, the... Yeah, they, they closed down for a few months to, like, revamp their stores. It's very much Westworld. It's, like, um... It's really Westworld, actually. Like, Except it, not robots, and there's no sex, sadly. That's accurate. Um, but instead of robots, it's real people, and every, like, it's, you know. But, um, the reason I describe it as Westworld is because, um... You know, in the same way that Westworld frames things as like narratives, and they swap stories in and out and stuff like that. Um, that's very much the same with this. Um, every once in a while, they like in order to have their guests revisit them. Uh, they're like, "Hey, we changed out the storylines. We added new characters. The whole vibe is different. So come enjoy." Which is so interesting because I think Sleep No More kind of does that, but Sleep No More is much more. Mm, this is fuck. a bad idea. I know. Fuck. Yep. Okay. Um, Sleep No More is much more, um, so much is happening in Sleep No More that you can't get it all in one go. Mm -hmm. So their assumption is they're like, okay, if you're here, um, damn it. Oh, I, I let one get behind me, which is a downfall. Yep. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh. Oh. We're out. Did I make it to the jungle? We, did we ape out? Did I ape out? I ape, ape out! out! Disc one. We did it! <laughs> we, did, we did the ape out. The ape done did out. We did it. Well, is We're there free. has to be more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a disc two, right? That's 12. You know, could have been way worse. Could have been way worse. I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah, I'll well, take it. We still got time, so let's go into disc two for a little bit. Sure. Yeah, harder. No, this is do disc Whoa. two. Um, start. Yeah. This is such a cool game. It is. So, so the final final thing on this. No, speakeasy keep going. Thing, I love. Um, I want to talk. I about think speakeasy. one of the differences, and and correct me if I'm wrong, because I've actually not been to Sleep No More. Mm -hmm. But like, I know there is a bar at Sleep No More, but I was under the impression that it was separate from the event. It's like you could go there, but yeah. it's not part of the show. Sleep No More has has two different kind of things happening. So Sleep No More, um, you walk in and it's this cabaret lounge bar, and like, oh, diff a new angle. Ooh. Whoa! Dead. Okay. Oh, oh, this is cool. This is neat. This feels like a. Oh, I ran out the wind, <laughs> but I aped out. I you, sure did you ape did. out. You did. 
Um, huh. um, yeah, so it's two things. So you walk into the bar at the beginning, and actually they have, like, pretty high-profile shows going on. Like, Leslie Odom Jr. was in residency at the McKittrick Hotel for mm-hmm. a little while. Um, so you can, like, hang out, get a drink beforehand, and they bring you in on, like, a timer um, on different... Like, they'll bring in certain groups. They give you, like, playing cards at the beginning, and it's like, Jacks, now come forward, and mm-hmm. Queens, come forward. And Ow. Um... And all that, so you can fall off in this one. That's super interesting. Yeah, it is cool. Um, oh, and there's new floor. Oh. Also, you didn't heal. Was I supposed to? I don't know. I don't know if floors are. Are you now... just acknowledging that I didn't heal? Well, okay. no. It, it's like I don't know if floors are like like in the before when you passed into a new area, you you healed. But here, no. It looks like floors no, are not. No, floors like are that. just their own sort of thing. Um, Boom. Um. Yeah. And then you walk in, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> yeah, I sneezed. Uh, um, you didn't <laughs> have to have that reaction to sneezing. <laughs> what? You don't do that every time you sneeze? No. Um, so, ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Um, yeah, but there's no... There, there it is. Go. There's no speaking in... Um, I mean, you can, like, whisper to each other, but it's more of a movement dance piece, which right. is really interesting. So you go into the main part of the hotel, and then there's just, like... In, insanity breaks out and you're running around everywhere yeah. trying to find things whereas food and drinks and gambling and stuff are like a part of this experience right? yeah exactly so the way speakeasy works is there's three rooms sort of there's three main rooms and then there's a whole bunch of like interim rooms um the three main rooms oh, are balls. um oh shit yeah that was unfortunate um are the bar the casino and the cabaret mm-hmm. um is it actual gambling yeah, you get you can pay for chips up front, and cool. you you can get some chips. Um, it, it's you don't you don't leave with money. It's not oh, so like, it's not actual gambling. It's, it's just, yeah, it's not actual gambling. It's uh, I mean the the real dealers. They mm. like it, it's oh, I mean it's games. real games of yeah. cards, but, but it's not no, like it's not like a real casi- like licensed casino or anything. Oh my god, I was right there. You were. Uh, you made it pretty far, man. I thought that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Do you want to try once on this round? Before... Uh, sure, I'll give it one shot. Yeah, give it a, give it a go, because we still got a little bit of time. Does this... No, okay. Oh. Um... Cool, I'm, I'm really ex- I'm so excited. Like, this is nice, <laughs> Gina Smith. <laughs> yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, man, I'm gonna go the other way. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, it's, it's... Well, at least Sleep No More is... Mm. Crazy cool. Sleep No More seems a bit more experimental than this one is, but yeah. this one seems more like a full-bodied experience than this. Like sleep, like Sleep No More is definitely you go get your drinks and then you go into the show. Yeah, and then once you're done, you like, can hang out in the lounge. You're again. in the bar and um, like passively, you can like get drinks and everything like that. It's like a normal ass bar. And then passively in the background, you'll have the the performers at that bar who are like in canon, in universe performers. They'll be putting on like great like musical numbers and singing and dancing and things like that, which is super cool. Which is very cool. And then suddenly the um, the lights will dim and there will be a scene. And these are people who aren't in canon uh, performers. They're they're characters, um, and they'll do whatever they do. Um, and then the lights will come back up and you. You continue to nice. do your oh, thing. Just go. I am. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's really neat. I, I I had a wonderful time last time I went. And I'm so excited to get to go again. No, that it, it seems really, really cool. But it's like, it's a whole bodied experience. Do they give food? Is there food? There is food. I. Oh, you say it's sort of a, like, that wastes your time. Well, like, there's I, other I haven't you eaten do. food there, but my thought would be that I, I'd much rather be spending my time at the show than spending it, um, like, waiting sense. for food. So anyway, we're doing that tonight, That's which what I'm, we're doing. I'm so excited about, um, which is sort of the like crowning moment of, not crowning, but this was like the one thing we had planned other than making a shit ton of episodes and <laughs> doing work. So we gonna get real drunk and feel like there we're we in the 20s tonight. It's gonna be good. That is accurate. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Don't oh, shoot oh. me. I like this game because you don't really have to be good at it. <laughs> Like, you can be. I can totally understand a world where you're really good at this. But mostly you're just like, ah! It's just a frantic, like, I just want to get out. Oh, I did it! Gina, good job! Okay. Yeah! Oh, man. Over. Over, over it. Over it. You're okay. over it. You're over aping out. He wasn't over it before. Before he was, like, nice. But... Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's fine. Nice. 
These floors are not that big, so like more than ever, I feel no, like the strategy here. but there's seventeen more. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this. Oh, sh oh that sniper is scary. Yeah, he is. Yeah, stay away from windows. Is there something I can do about this? Uh, maybe you can grab it and move things out of the way. I think that's what you have to do. Grab one by one. Yes, no? Am I wrong? What? You can pick up their gun? I can, yeah. Have you always been able to do that? I don't know the answer to that question. Shit. No. Okay. Are you- have you- uh, So I that's don't, not doing it? Yeah, I don't think so. So I'm gonna look around and see if there's- There's not. There's um, definitely not another exit. Okay, no, is there I, something I can do? Are you sure? Can I throw stuff at it? Oh, oh. well, okay, that's fine. Interesting. All right. And you tried to? I did try to. I'm not going to say that that isn't the answer. I'm just going to say that I tried and it didn't work. All right. We're 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 done, but I I want to Yeah, give it one more shot. Uh, unless I will die before I even get there, which is looking likely. It's possible. It takes a second to get back into the groove. I understand. I blew myself up like 15 times already, so I I completely understand. Damn it. Damn it. God fuck. Ugh. Oh. Got this. You Serpentine got this. is really your friend in a game like this. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go. Well, also, because if they don't have like a steady shot on you for a while, they usually don't take it. So, ooh, this is different. Oh, you have to trade buildings. Okay. You just didn't see this. I didn't see the, the yeah. Oh, well. That's no, it's okay. Right. I didn't either. Okay. The Sky Bridge? What do people call those? Sky, sky Bridge, yeah, yeah, something like that. Which I've always liked Sky Bridges. Yeah. I like not having to walk outside ever. All fenced off. <laughs> I like to not be a part of the outdoors. I'm dead. It's, all right. You, you suffered my fate. I did. Yeah. Okay, this has been Ape Out, guys. All right. This game's so fun. I highly recommend like playing around with this. I feel like this is something that I could really get into for a while. No, absolutely. This seems like a really, really entertaining little roguelike. And so, the fact yeah. that I'm like genuinely, and it's not a roguelike. It's not. I I know. I thought it was. I know it can be. Maybe the late stages are. I think arcade are, mode. Yeah. There's arcade mode. I'm just gonna continue to call it that because because that's how it was advertised. Yeah, that's I guess. fine. But I actually kind of yeah. like that. There's like levels in a campaign. No, it's fun. Like, it's like it's it's a puzzle. There's so puzzle. few games that are like level based nowadays, and mm -hmm. I miss levels. I like levels. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm glad we got two episodes out of this. This was fun. And we Absolutely. got to tell you about speakeasies. So. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye, folks.